So today I want to talk about the concept of separation of variables. So what happens is at times you'll be given a differential equation where obviously you've got your dy dx appearing, but then what happens is that you have a whole bunch of things with x bundled together multiplied to a whole bunch of things with y bundled together. And our usual strategy for tackling these questions, or at least starting off with these questions, is to isolate the terms with the x's away from the terms with the y's. So this is a pretty minimalistic example. It's just dy dx equals xy. And what I'll do is that I'll start by literally just chopping my dy dx up. I'm going to do that to split the dy from the dx. Of course, that's very hand wavy, but whatever, we're allowed to do that. I then see, well, okay, I have my x term here, and it's already on the right side. It's already on the right with the dx, so I'm just going to leave that alone. But then I see, well, okay, I have a y term as well, and I want that to sit with the dy, not with the dx. So that I'm going to actually move to the other side. And then pretty much the next thing I do is I literally just plonk an integral in front of both of them. And then integrate as usual, so that'll be the log of the absolute value of y. And that will be x squared on 2 plus c. And pretty much all there is to it. So in your studies, you might need to do some more to this differential equation. You may need to rearrange to make y the subject, for example. You might be given some initial conditions to be able to figure out what your value of plus c is. But then pretty much those are just basic build-ons from stuff that hopefully you've already seen in the math advanced course anyway, doing basic calculus. But pretty much that is all there is to it. Thanks everyone.